Uh, today we're talking about placing zeros in the quotient. So that's whenever you have, well, let's look at the vocabulary. All right, so the quotient, that's our answer. Whenever you have zeros in the quotient, what, how do you do that? What is it, what happens? So we're gonna talk about that exactly, that, that, that occurrence. Okay, remember, um, let me go back here. Our dividend is what we're dividing. The divisor is what we divide by, and then the quotient is our answer. It's just a quick, quick reminder. Okay, let's look at let's look at these basic problems with one-digit divisors. Four goes into eight two times. Two times four is eight. Okay, so it's zero. Bring down our three. Three go. Oh, four does not go into three. So we have to have a zero. That is what it means when we have a zero in the quotient. Okay, so zero times four is zero. Three, you know, so here's our subtraction problems. Three minus zero, zero, okay. And then bring down our two. Four times eight is 32. Okay, so zero, it's zero remainder. This is a zero in the quotient. Okay, and we do that when our, you know, our, 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 our divisor does not go into the dividend. Okay. Three goes into nine three times. So that would be three. Uh, three times nine is, or three times three is nine. Zero, bring down our zero. Three does not go into zero. So we're going to have a placeholder. Zero times three is zero. Okay, we'll subtract that. Zero, zero, bring down our three. Three. Three goes into three, one time. 301. All right. So it's pretty cool. Um, sometimes you might have a zero at the beginning, at the front, okay, at the, at the highest value digit here. Seven does not go into six. So we're going to just, we can place a zero if we want. Seven times. Mental math, times table, seven times nine. Seven times nine is 63, okay? Remainder, zero. So let me show you, zero, nine equals nine. We can just, we can delete that, it's an X, doesn't matter. Three goes into two, it doesn't, okay? Three goes into 21, seven times. Seven times three er, is 21. Zero, zero, bring down our nine. Three times three is nine. And zeros in the quotient. Here, I didn't put anything. And here, I placed a zero. Doesn't matter. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same. And now here we have our last two examples, our last two problems. 12 goes into, ooh, this is a two digit divisor. 12 does not go into 8, okay? So we just 8, right? X, right? Or 0, or nothing. 12 times what is, hmm, is it 12 times 2? No. 12 times, look, 2 needs to go into 4, so 12 times 7. 7 times 2 is 14, carry my 1, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. There you go, 84 minus 84, 0. So our answer is seven. Six goes into eight one time. Remainder of two. Six goes into 24 four times. Remainder of zero. Six goes into one. It does not, so we'll have to put a zero. And then our remainder is one. Okay. Six goes into 18 three times. 1,403. 403. Uh, Thank you for watching this video. If you would like a second video on zeros in the in the quotient, let me know. I'll make another one, I'll, tutorials, whatever you need. Uh, have a great day.